Welcome to Beyond Just Money by Kalkine Media, an independent global media house and investor relations group. Please note that this podcast is for information purposes only. It's not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell or hold the stocks of any company or companies or engage in any investment activity under discussion. Kalkine Media is neither licensed nor qualified to provide investment advice through this platform. Welcome to Beyond Just Money. My name is Manisha and with me today is Ms. Nidhi Sinha, the Head of Content at Calkine Media. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the Australian property market. Welcome Nidhi. Thank you Manisha. It's always a pleasure to be on Beyond Just Money. Nidhi, the Australian property market has been witnessing a perpetual surge in home prices despite the uncertain situation since the outbreak of covid-19 what are your views on the current boom and will it continue if you look at the current property trend and expert insights the market is likely to hit the 9 trillion australian dollars mark by december 2021 this is after recording 8 trillion australian dollars in march this year As per the latest release by CoreLogic which is a leading provider of data analytics and platforms the new milestone for the residential property value is backed by a double digit hike in the prices of residential properties CoreLogic's report gives a better picture about where the Australian property market stands currently Can you take our listeners through the details of the report Sure let me take you through the details of the CoreLogic housing report to give you an idea As per the recent National Home Value Index by CoreLogic, Australian housing values grew by 1.6% in July. The growth in housing values grew 14.1% on a year-to-date basis in 2021. If you look at the past year, there has been a rise of 16.1% in national housing values. It is the fastest pace of annual growth achieved since February 2004. The uptick is basically being driven by record low mortgage rates in the country. Moreover, there are expectations that interest rates will remain low for an extended period of time. At the macro level, national housing values grew 18.4% till July on a yearly basis. Also, unit values have gone up by 8.7%. With housing values rising at a rate that is well above average across most areas of the country, which stocks in the property market are springing up? Some of the real estate stocks listed on the ASX that investors can look at are Arena REIT, Centuria Capital Group and Sunland Group Limited. Some at all the rise and shine in the numbers mark the strong performance of the Australian property market so far and highlight its trend towards the next trillion dollar milestone by the end of this year. However, it would be interesting to see the course of the values of residential property in the coming times. Thank you Nidhi. for sharing your insights with our listeners to listen to this podcast again log on to calkinemedia.com or subscribe to our youtube channel see you soon with yet another insightful episode of beyond just money till then as we say stay apprised and invest wise with calkine media Our listeners are requested to make their own inquiries about any investments and Calkine Media strongly suggests that the listeners seek advice from a financial advisor, stockbroker or other professional as necessary. Calkine Media hereby disclaims any and all the liabilities to any listener arising from any use of the information shared or discussed in this podcast. This podcast is available for personal and non-commercial use only.